Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are in the Pacific Northwest and this is a really beautiful area so I thought it'd be a good day to kind of take you guys along for another adventure. Um, we've got snow-capped mountains around us and volcanoes are all around us so we should be able to get some decent views of at least some of them. So let's see what we can find. Let's go. Found ourselves a bear paw print. So there's a bear around these parts. On this tree here, right up there. Look at that, three claw marks on the tree. I was examining this weird marking on the ground. I noticed right there, if you can see, there's the paw print of the bear. Boop, 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 boop. And yeah, so right there is the bear's paw print. So somewhere around here, we got ourselves a bear. But he must have been scratching himself on this tree. So, yeah, it's beautiful in here. Hannah's looking up in the tree. Maybe we need to look up in the trees. Mm -hmm. Some of the trees in this area are very tall. All right, up here, we have a nice view of volcano. While many people in the United States may not actually fathom the risk of volcanoes in this country, it is there, specifically along our west coast. If you look on a map and you look at the volcanoes on the west coast, you can see the line boo, 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 down the west coast in a little bit from the land. And that's because of that plate tectonic activity that we just talked about and creating those volcanoes there. And I'm actually standing by the volcanoes right now. If you look behind me, there's one. I'll swing around and show you. There's another one right there coming into view. That volcano is Mount Adams. And if I swing around here, you'll also see another volcano. That volcano peeking out from behind that mountain is Mount Rainier. And there's also Mount Hood in the distance. And one more to show you. This area is just full of them. Back there, what you see is our Mount St. Helens. Now, for those of you that can remember, in 1980, Mount St. Helens actually did go off which was a great reminder to everyone in the United States that we do have the potential for volcanism. It may go off again quite soon. And our guy back here, Mount Rainier, that baby may also go off. And some of the issues that we had with Mount St. Helens have taught us a lot about the potential of uh, problems we might have thanks to the volcanoes going off in this area. And since then, we've even built more infrastructure in the general area. And we know that Mount St. Helens posed a threat, particularly, obviously, the ashfall, the pyroclastics, but also the lahars, the lahars, the mud flows that came from all the debris and the melting ice and snow that came off of it. And our buddy back there, Mount Rainier, has over 20 glaciers on it. So if that does go off, that ice and snow and all that volcanic debris is going to come thundering down the mountainside in a probably a much bigger show than Mount St. Helens put on. So very interesting area. If you go to the Pacific Northwest, you have a great opportunity to see these volcanoes standing high in the sky and the uh, threat of volcanism becomes very real in this area. There's Mount St. Helens behind me. And I was also going to show you guys, this is just like, just layers of pumice here from the volcanic eruptions so there's tons of it um this stuff's pretty small but there are some bigger pieces and i've been collecting the biggest pieces i can find i have some that are like this big from here which it's actually hard to find because this stuff crumbles and sort of disintegrates <coughs> pretty easily so like i could crush this in my hand if i wanted to it's pretty soft um or crumbly so i'm collecting the big pieces i can find and i'll i'll share what i find but there's something just really cool about walking on a bed of pumice here, so. In addition to the awesome volcano scenery and all the glaciers there on Mount Adams, there's berry bushes here. I've seen a ton of volcanoes and it's still pretty hard to believe how awesome these things are. It's just crazy to think about these things going off. Some really pretty flowers out here on our hike. Those are gorgeous. 
All right, so we just walked from all the way over over there and around the ridge down there, up a trail, up through here. And there's some pretty good views. Mount St. Helens is over there, but I have to show me down for you to see it. It's right through there. Yeah, you can see a little bit. It's through there. It's a pretty good view of it through there. And then as I swing around, the view is awesome enough as it is, but there's Mount Rainier again. And there's more of the Cascade Mountain area. I'll give you a close up over here. There you go. For those of you that haven't or may never make it to see right near, there it is. Huge volcano. It's over 14,000 feet and it is an active volcano. We may go walk in our lifetime, who knows. It is awesome. I think there's, uh, there's like 25 give or take glaciers on that baby. So that is awesome. And then it's brother over here as we sing around. Also very cool looking. Not quite as big and prominent as the size we're near is sometimes, but right now it looks pretty cool. That's your Mount Adams. <clears throat> pretty cool. And then their angry sister that decided to put on a show in the 80s. And there she is. Miss Mount St. Helens. We're on the, pretty much on the side that blew off, so you can see, if you could see a picture of it before, you'd see quite a difference, so pretty cool. There's the puppers. So that's one volcano, and I can also see over there in the distance, if you look, that little snow peak. That's Mount Hood over there. And there's a, might be another one in the distance, uh, that might be Mount Jefferson. And I think, yeah, over here, there's another one that we can see just a little bit there. And that would be our Mount Rainier. When that guy goes off, it's going to be interesting. We have an absolute gorgeous day. The sun is shining. And it is really beautiful out. And this is a really cool area, so. Thank you.